Tesla FSD beta update 10.69 slated for August 20th release. August 8, 2022. Tesla FSD beta 10.69 drops on 8. 20. Tweeted Elon Musk recently. He was. Of course. Talking about V.10.13. Following his announcement, Musk reiterated this release will be big. During the 2022 shareholders roundup, he said that version 10.13 was more like 10.69 because drivers will see significant improvements when the update rolls out. 10.13 we've been working on for a while and actually, what sort of happened is we've made some pretty significant architectural improvements. So it's really gonna be more than 10.12 to 10.13 release. It might. I don't want to speak too soon. It might qualify for 10.69. Musk said, last month, the Tesla CEO tweeted that users outside of California will notice the improvements to FSD beta the most. At the shareholders roundup, Musk mentioned that FSD beta 10.13 would tackle left turns and even Chuck's turn. Leaked release notes of V.10.13 revealed a few more details about the upcoming update. See below. One improved decision making for unprotected left turns using better estimation of ego's interaction with other objects through the maneuver. Two improved stopping pose while yielding for crossing objects at Chuck Cook style unprotected left turns by utilizing the median safety regions. Three made speed profile more comfortable when creeping for visibility. To allow for smoother stops when protecting for potentially occluded objects. Four enabled creeping for visibility at any intersection where objects might cross ego's path. Regardless of presence of traffic controls. 5. Improved lane position error by 5% and lane recall by 12%. 6. Improved lane position error of crossing and merging lanes by 22% by adding long-range skip connections and a more powerful trunk to the network architecture. 7. Improved pedestrian and bicyclist velocity error by 17%. Especially when ego is making a turn. By improving the onboard trajectory estimation used as input to the neural network. 8. Improved animal detection recall by 34% and decreased false positives by 8% by doubling the size of the auto-labeled training set. 9. Improved detection recall of faraway crossing vehicles by 4% by tuning the loss function used during training and improving label quality. 10. Improved the is parked attribute for vehicles by 5% by adding 20% more examples to the training set. 11 upgraded the occupancy network to detect dynamic objects and improved performance by adding a video module, tuning the loss function, and adding 37k new clips to the training set. 12 reduced false slowdowns around crosswalks by better classification of pedestrians and bicyclists is not intending to interact with ego. 13 reduced false lane changes for cones or blockages by preferring gentle offsetting in lane where appropriate. 14 improved in lane positioning on wide residential roads. 15 improved object future path prediction in scenarios with high yaw rate. 16 improved speed limit sign accuracy on digital speed limits by 29%. On signs with difficult relevance by 23%. On three digit speeds by 39%. And on speed limit end signs by 62%. Neural network was trained with 84% more examples in the training set and with architectural changes which allocated more compute in the network head. Source reposted and summarized from Maria Murano at Tesla RT. My take getting closer step by step.